why moths become confused by artificial light. You are a firefly, blinking rhythms that are as easy to predict as the weather that encapsulates each season, and the light at the end of your tail, as it goes streaming out of sight, is something I understand, but no longer wish to respond to. I wave you away from mason jars that no longer bear your name, seal the windows shut with good intentions, block the gaps in the door jams with enough strength to make me believe that this will keep you out. If only so that you will stop letting your ghost's frozen bodies fill my wallpaper. And you keep lighting up the night sky, keep snapping your wings too loudly against the air, keep acting like you are something you are not. A late to bloom June bug, fattened and lazy, bumping into walls and calling it amusing. <laughs> I never wanted to catch you. Wasn't interested in how you would look pinned under glass and lightless, had no need for the small print of genus and phylum underneath you. I just wanted to know how you shine that way. I wanted to hold you for a moment in my palm and notice the warmth as you lit up and then faded away, but you kept acting like you are something you are not, a cicada, which is often mistaken with locusts. I knew better when I saw you. You wouldn't blame plague or ruin, but you did mistake my arms for tree limbs and attempted to feed. Attempted to nest in my heart valves. I got tired of fighting you off. The buzz of your wings persistent and unending. I let myself love you. Even though I knew we wouldn't last through the season, I forgot. But just because we both have wings, it didn't mean we were meant to fly in the same direction. I'll admit it. This ragged Jersey moth got tired of keeping the move. Oh. Something so large and unattainable, always on my left to navigate, that I let the glimmer of your halo send me into circles. A slow, dizzy nosedive of sweetness after so much forceful wind thrust in my face. A cyclone of summers and hot nights I spent swinging around the edge of a light bulb whose switch was constantly being flipped on and off, on and off. And here, alone in this darkness, I have just enough reserve left. Remember the moon and how she shined for me once, clear and steady, kissing the curve of the earth. So I left the frantic fireflies and their flickering meadows of fantasy behind to burn out on their own. Yay!